Herman Cain just backpedaled on his endorsement from the gold standard. He said that one of his advisors said that it was harder than it looked, and therefore he's just, you know, wants to be honest with people that he's not sure he's pushing it now. Herman Cain said that he had previously already partway backpedaled by saying he was for the gold standard after the national debt was paid off. I believe the last time it was paid off was by Andrew Jackson in 1835. So what would you have to say to Herman Cain? Well, I certainly do respect uh, his achievement in business. It's remarkable, and he has uh, proven that uh, he's qualified in the world of affairs. I would have to agree with him that those people who have not uh, studied the question very carefully of monetary policy, it's uh, no fault of their own as a result of the fact that most economists and most politicians have not taken the issue of monetary policy seriously. I would recommend that a very quick course of study with those people who are both pro-convertible uh, currency, that is to say a dollar convertible to gold, and those who are against. And let uh, him as a result of study, let Mr. Kane as a result of study and concentration decide for himself. It's not unimportant, but I believe the American people are headed toward uh, a, a convertible currency, a dollar convertible to gold in any event. If it doesn't happen, uh, this year, it would be great if we had a Republican candidate who not only understood it, but understood the importance of the monetary policy issue, brought up the issue in the New Hampshire debate. Um, but this issue is going to be resolved in the next five years.